Johnny, where you been? Uh, errands and basketball. I now have your dry cleaning and some very sharp chest pains. Thank you. <laughs> Wait a minute. You took this to Ritz? Hang on a sec. I, I had lunch at Cooper's. Ritz is right next door. I told you, the guy was rude to me. Maybe he's got a crush on you, and that's just his way. <laughs> oh, and look at this. They didn't even get the stain out of my green blouse. Let me see. They attached a note, huh? Look, we tried and tried, but we couldn't get it out. Yeah, we tried and tried. This isn't funny. All right, come on, it's dry cleaning, relax. Don't tell me to relax. All right, how to settle down work for you. No, no, okay? Like, okay, thanks a lot, I just stepped on my pants. <laughs> it's not just the dry cleaning, Doug, it's everything. This happens all the time. What are you talking about? I ask you to do something, you completely ignore me. I mean, I would never be that inconsiderate to you. <laughs> what does that mean? Carrie, you spend half your life criticizing everything I do. That is not true. I, I, I bring home takeout, the food sucks. I buy toilet paper, it's, it's not soft oh, enough. Oh, when have you ever bought toilet paper? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I bought great toilet paper, and did I get thanked for it? No, all I get was, oh, it's not quilted, I hate it, it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. This is so typical. It's like that time I asked you to please, please send in the fridge warranty. Oh, here we go with the fridge warranty again. You never forget anything, you're like a freaking elephant. Oh yeah, out of the two of us, I'm the elephant. You just called me an elephant? You just called me one. I called you an elephant for good memory. You called me an elephant for fatness. Speak Speaking of which, this should be fun to clean up. But, oh, wait a minute, you won't because I will. Because I always do, because I'm the only one who ever cleans up anything in this house. Well, you know, if, if this house is too much for you, then I'll sell it. I'll sell it right now. I love this house. I'll freaking burn it to the ground before I let you sell it. Bless you. Thanks. Oh, my God! What, what did I do now? The window was open this whole time. So what? So Mike and Debbie must have heard us. Who? The new neighbors. We already made a crappy first impression, and now they're gonna think we fight all the time. We do fight all the time. No, we don't. Who cares what the neighbors think about us, huh? You should care what we think about us. Come on, I love you. Hmm. hmm. Love you too, honey. Douglas, would you please pass the catsup? The what? The catsup. <laughs> you mean the ketchup? <laughs> Educated people pronounce it catsup. Not if they want me to pass it to them. Fine, if that's the way you're gonna be, then I'll do without. Not gonna happen, old man. <laughs> My burger's getting cold. Just give me the ketchup. Okay, it's called ketchup. Say it right, and you can have it. No. Say it. Say it. No, I will never say it. I'd rather die than say it. <laughs> then she's staying over here. Me amo ketchup. Fine. Then just say goodbye to these. <laughs> Why you gotta do that? All right, you want the ketchup? You can have the ketchup here. Thank God. God. Thank you. That's enough. Okay. That's enough. That's that's enough. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. Oh, is that enough? Really? Yes, that's yeah. enough. That's yeah. enough. Then say it. Say, say it. Say it. What? Say it. Hey, what? What's it called? Catch up. <laughs> and that's how we learn. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. Couldn't find any lemons in the fridge there. That's okay, Dad. What am I thinking? There's a beautiful lemon tree right outside. Yeah, but that's in our neighbor's yard. So those bastards put their stuff in our garbage cans! They don't like it when you steal their fruit, Dad. That's why they got the Rottweiler. That's why I got pepper spray. My baby's getting lemons! <laughs> Arthur, didn't I ask you not to put the peanut butter in the refrigerator? Yeah. You may have. Why? 
because then it gets hard and I can't spread it without tearing the bread. So just let it sit for a half an hour and soften up. I want the sandwich now. Then toast the bread, that way it won't tear. Don't want it toasted, don't want it in a half an hour. What I want is an untoasted peanut butter and jelly sandwich now. Well, Douglas, that might not be possible. As it is, I've given you a number of very attractive alternatives. No, they're not attractive, okay, Arthur? You know what, I may not be able to afford a decent car, but I do have a house and I let you live in it, so please show some respect. Oh, oh peanut butter, oh, good peanut butter, yes. More peanut butter, more out. You gonna let him talk that way to me? Well, I'm not quite sure what he said at the end there. <laughs> but as far as the other stuff is concerned, Daddy's not really wrong. There you are. What are you doing? Just enjoying the smells of Poughkeepsie. <laughs> well, I have some very exciting news. You're not gonna believe it. Look at this picture. What's that? Our car? Oh, I backed into a pole. That's for the insurance company. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know. Somebody's baby. Yeah. Her baby. Her baby. Oh, my God. Yeah. Her name is Ming Mei. She's four days old. Isn't she beautiful? All right, I have to call the adoption agency and tell them that we're on the next flight out to Beijing. I... I can't believe I'm making this call. I mean, I've ordered Chinese before, but never a baby. <laughs> Carrie, we're not doing this. What? What are you talking about? I know about the apartment, and I know you never got rid of it. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Weird, huh? <laughs> uh, look, Doug, you have every right to be upset, OK? I... I should have gotten rid of it a couple weeks ago, but I but was But what? I mean... But I was just nervous about us getting back together. So was I, you know, but we made a deal. I quit my job for you, and I love that job. You hated that job. You said so a thousand times. No, I said I hated having a job. There's a difference. <laughs> the point is, I took a leap of faith for the sake of our future, and you didn't. All right, well, I'm taking my leap of faith now. It doesn't count now, Carrie. I mean, now you're just leaping for the baby. Admit it, you've never taken a leap of faith from me in your whole life. I married you. What do you call that? Uh, hitting the jackpot. <laughs> Getting married, that's not taking a leap of faith. When you get married, you think it's going to be great forever. Yeah, but then 10 years down the line, you finally start to realize, wow, he's fat and he's staying fat. <laughs> Man, she ain't getting any nicer, is she? <laughs> Smoke clears. And it's just the two of us standing there, fat, mean, and naked. <laughs> That's when it takes a leap of faith to keep going. And you didn't. I can never forget that. Okay, Doug, so what are you saying? Are you saying we're over? I guess I am. Hi, Daddy. Heard you and Doug had a little adventure today. Indeed we did. And on that note, Douglas, there's something that needs to be said. I'm listening. You put a nasty little nick in my armoire. <laughs> That's what needs to be said. OK, you know what? Why don't you come inside, Dad? I'll make you a nice baked apple. Come on. <laughs> I realize you were distracted by your boss's hurtful comments about your weight. But you might be a little bit more careful in the future. Your customers may not be as forgiving as I am. Baked apple, right this way. Arthur, you, do you understand at all that you almost got me canned? You know, it's, it's bad enough that you, you trounce all over my home. Do you have to trounce on my job, too? That's too much trouncing. Oh, you think this living arrangement is easy for me? You think I like walking around here on eggshells? Eggshells? Is that what we've been getting here for the past year? Eggshells? You on eggshells? Well, thank you for holding back. <laughs> all right, enough, the both of you. Now, let's all just go inside. I will make you a baked apple. I will take a shower. Reverse that. Let's just all go inside. 
Oh, Douglas, obviously my living here is very unpleasant for you. Perhaps I should make some other arrangements. Dad, stop no, no, it. No, 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 I'm interested. Go on, go. Where would you go? Where would you go? Come on, come on. Where would you go? I have options. Options? Oh, so there are several mental institutions wooing you. <laughs> no, I'm just a crazy old man who can't hack it on my own. Is that what you think? Yes. <laughs> That's not stopping. Well, let me tell you something, Douglas. I've been on my own since I was 17. I could take care of myself then, and I can take care of myself now. Where'd that door go? It's over here, Dad. Fine. I'm gonna get my things. I'll be staying at Mickey's until I can find a more permanent situation! Dad, come inside. What are you gonna do, sleep in the car? Good night! <laughs> How dare you? How dare me? How dare you? No! How dare you? How dare you? All right, let's just get the fight going. <laughs> you humiliated me in front of my friends. I got news for you, sweetheart. You're my daughter, not the other way around. Well, if you don't want to be treated like a child, then don't act like one. I did not act like a child! Dad, you ran off, you didn't call, you didn't leave a message, you were drinking, and I gotta be honest with you, Dad, okay? Your date looked like a pro. How dare you! Okay, let's not backtrack. I got news for you, sweetheart. Tonight was the first night I felt alive since you dragged me into this house, but you couldn't stand to see it, could you? Dad, I am trying to look after you. I care about you, that's all. Douglas, I appeal to you. Am I crazy, or did she spill my plums all over that barroom floor? <laughs> Actually, I gotta tell you, hon, you were a little rough on him back there. You were. All right, don't you start in on me, because this is your fault, too. My fault? Yes, all you had to do was drop him off at the senior center. Simple thing. He's a grown man. He wanted out. What, am I gonna lock him in the car? Yes, you can lock all the doors from the driver's side. I showed you that. That works. So it didn't happen tonight. It was gonna happen eventually. I gotta be honest with you. I've been observing you for quite a while, and you've been stifling him. Stifling him? I is that what you've observed? Yeah, that's what I've observed. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay, because I thought your view might have been blocked by the Dorito bag you always have your head in. How dare you! All right. Anyway, what I'm saying is just back off him, okay? You've been running his life like a drill sergeant. Oh, really? And, uh, what, you think he can do better? I would have made some different choices, yeah. Would you? Indeed, I would. Indeed, you would. Hmm, okay, okay. Obviously, I'm in the wrong here. I mean, you think so, he thinks so, even Chick thinks so. So, um, you know what? As of this moment, I am out of it. You can make all the decisions. He belongs to you. Fine, I'll do it. It's no big deal. Okay, just that works for you too, Dad? Douglas would be a breath of fresh air. <laughs> okay, well, have fun, ladies. Oh, we'll have more than fun, Mary Jane. We'll have so much damn fun, the, the neighbors will think it's weird. <laughs> Okay. Arthur, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing, Einstein? It looks like you're unloading dirty dishes, Einstein. They're clean, Einstein. No, they're dirty. I just loaded them, and I went to the store to get a box of detergent, Einstein. Well, why didn't you leave a note saying that, Einstein? Right, stop calling me Einstein. Stop calling me Einstein. <laughs> no big deal, OK? We'll just. Reload the dishwasher and wash them. Okay, now, which, which of these did you already put away? Let's see, I definitely remember putting away a blue bowl with big white and yellow sunflowers on it. Okay, we don't own anything close to that. <laughs> we might have a problem. All right, then we have no other choice. We're just gonna have to wash everything we own. Never happened. Right -o. Oh. Oh. Hey, Arthur, it's me, Doug. What can I do you for? Actually, I was just calling to check the messages off of the machine. So just hang up and I'll, I'll call right back. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Yellow. Arthur, <laughs> didn't I just ask you not to pick up? No, you said I should hang up and you'd call right back. Okay, what I meant was I wanted the machine to get it, not you. I'm trying to check my messages. You want me to just check them for you? No, no, thank you, no. Last time you did that, you erased all the messages. 
end our outgoing messages and unplug the lamp. <laughs> just let it ring, okay? That's your world. I just live in it. numbers. Oh, I'll give him a try. Oh, 3D glasses. <laughs> Guess this is my lucky day. Can I, uh, can I see him? You can see him fine from right there. <laughs> wow! Okay, you know what? Ugh. Fine, fine. Enjoy him. Mm. Look, Arthur, it's uh, no big deal, but uh, I did buy the cereal, so technically, those are mine. <laughs> Possession is nine tenths of the law, buddy boy. Well, you know what? You keep those, and I'll, I'll keep the box with the 3D jungle scene on the back, okay? Let me see that. Ah, uh -uh, nine tenths of the law. Look at that. It's even fun to look at with plain eyes. Look at the little jungle cat. <laughs> Something out. Oh, suddenly we're negotiating. <laughs> Don't think so. I'm warning you. I'll rip them in half. Go ahead, big shot. Oh, that's it. <laughs> You'll never see this jungle picture again. No more jungle. <laughs> Panic. There you go. Huh? Want some cereal, hon? <laughs> Douglas, I'm mailing some pictures to my cousin. Do you think this needs one stamp or two? Uh, two. What? This seems well within the one house limit. <laughs> well, then why'd you ask me? Oh, I wanted an expert opinion, but no, you had to tow the company line. You delivery people got your foot on our throats and you won't step off. <laughs> Just trying to eat my lunch here. Would you forget about food for just one second? Okay, that's what my sandwich was missing. A finger with a loose band-aid. <laughs> Damn it, these are Oktoberfest pictures. They have to get to my cousin before June 1st. So then put two stamps on them. Put ten on. What do you care? It's not like you're paying for them. <laughs> How dare you? Oh! oh yeah! <laughs> hey guys. Yeah? Well, how about this, huh? Yeah. 